You remind me of one of Aesop's fables. The boy who cried wolf. And why is that? Because nobody believed a single word he said either. Why would I lie about this? Why would you lie about having cancer? Why would you fake your own death? I was a different person back then, but I've changed. I've turned my life around and I love my job. I already lost my children. I am not about to let you or anyone else take this away from me too. Honestly, Sienna, this um, fantasy you have about me, I am flattered. Fantasy? I would rather die than entertain the thought of being with you. Are you sure? Because maybe if you did, all this could go away. Are you serious? We'd put it down to a misunderstanding. That way you'd get to keep your job. Because what you need to ask yourself is, after all the lies you've told, do you really think anybody's going to believe a single word that comes out of that pretty little mouth of yours? Do you know my favorite bit of Aesop's fable? is when the boy and the villagers hunt down and kill the wolf. I'm really not sure that's how it ends. It will this time. I do hope that neither of you are about to complicate an already delicate situation. Laurie, I said I was going to call you when I had a moment free for our chat. I'm sorry, I must have misunderstood. Uh, but I'll look forward to your call. Sienna, I think you dropped this. After you.